I, I think it's taking away because I think breastfed is supposed to be a bond between a mother and a child. But um, ladies, it works, okay? There are some instances where I read the stories and um, if I don't want to call any name because then I would have to put the clip of the stories or I'd have to mention where I get the stories from. But you can Google it. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, it's, it's there are couples out there that even when their spouse pass away, they miss breastfeeding them. Um, some people find it gross, tacky. It went viral when the first woman speak about it. But guys, um, would I try it? <laughs> I want to hear your views first. It's no. another way of what feeling um a bond with your partner. Bond with your partner by breastfeeding him. Um, yeah. to 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 uh, to me, I don't think nothing is wrong with it. But I think something is wrong about him drinking the milk. I don't think I would breastfeed a man with my breast milk. It's for my baby. Um, I wouldn't give him the milk to drink. Hell no. But I always wonder those couples. I know you have some mothers, the baby two, three, four year old. And I'm sure you couples must have romance and all of that. So I, I guess... In majority of the time, I don't know about other countries or such. I mean like... I know that for Jamaicans and so forth, Jamaican females, uh, probably all females, like when their breasts are being Yeah, but I'm talking but about with like mean, feeding them with the breast I milk. Mean, but this this coming come into play, but as in when a guy is doing that now and it's on her breast and so forth, I mean eventually he would have actually drink her milk from her breast. Eventually, because if he's going to do that which majority but there is no milk there unless you conceive a baby oh okay. so i i i want some views on this yeah and do you think that it give you a better relationship with you and your partner yes do but you I, but i really want to see the comments and what i want them. i really want to see things what i want <laughs> yes so guys i have a topic a relationship topic do you think a blind date is better than an arranged date what about you mom what do you think i i rather a arranged date than a blind date why because a arranged date it means that i can feel a little bit more safe on the date because the person somebody know the person and they won't kidnap me and uh, they maybe look up to the person who introduced me to the person so likely they're gonna behave in a proper manner yeah but all right say for the um the blind date you never know what you're going to get you ne not you, you never know what you're going to expect you know is like so you're saying the thrilling experience of a surprise yes and to know that all right if it's an arranged date the person's going to already know like few things about you and it's like I mean, say, all right, so you're saying it's boring? It's not say boring. I wouldn't say boring. But you have some people that like the train experience from it. Like, alright then. I go on a blind date and support. I walk up on this girl or support and it's like, it's how she carries If anybody wants to show her and knows her and then run by fears and fears. It's like, a shocking experience. Yeah, so you take the excitement out of it when it's an arranged date. Yeah, so That's what you're like, saying. So like you're, you never know what you're going to expect. Okay, so you rather the blind date? Well, so because you know, uh, woke up and nobody will give me nightmares. <laughs> um, I'll do the arranged, but I mean, doing the blind date to me it's is kind of a chilling thing, yeah, ex exciting yeah. thing. Okay, so I think you should go on a blind date just for to get the exciting experience, right? <laughs> I think you should try. What do you think? Roman, they should try a blind date, right? <laughs> but anyway, I really prefer an arranged date. Blind date is just creepy, um, can be very dangerous, and it just can be very dangerous. It's like living on the edge. I do like challenges and surprises in, in certain aspects, but that's just too much for me i don't think i could just I, I i even sometimes you know um 
if you have a relationship like online an online relationship because i have a lot of online relationship it kind of brings smooth over the time and it depends on the conversation and if you're wise enough you can throw back re throw back conversation in a, in a different kind of because you know you can write a sentence in many ways and see if the person is really you can use psychology to see if the person is really real or really telling you the truth and also sometimes put yourself to listen to the person instead of just always giving information sure. that way you can get observe, to see um, and observe the person because let me tell you word says a lot you can be talking to somebody and um, when you meet them you already know them because of their words and they don't know that and then you can be talking to somebody and if you don't listen keenly you get the wrong impression when all all of what they were or is is really what's in all those messages that were sent to you and it's when you are shocked you go back and read those messages you're saying damn how could I be so full? Yeah. In for a bottle and you look all around the room and before Ramanda left Ramanda right, the bottle is in the fridge. Maybe a note and because I'm looking for the wrong thing, I know I can't see that note, I'll call him. Where is the bottle? But mom, I know he was going to go in the kitchen to arrest on the kitchen door. The bottle is in the fridge. So you know it, He's already fainting for it. Yeah, so. right, but you never observe enough to see certain things. I advise young people not to go on blind dates. And if you're going on a blind date, bring a backup with you, like, <laughs> let the person, yes, I, I, I remember I get a call, it was like in about 2006 there, 2007, I advertised in the paper, and I get a call from a guy, or, and the guy said, um, can I talk to you, it was like, even night, 11 o'clock, and I said, call me back in the morning, he said, no, it's important, and now is the only time I can get to speak to you i'm a kind person and <laughs> i have something to tell romando that i've never told him before but let me just finish this story and i get the call when i answer the phone the, as i said the guy wanted help and i said all right go ahead i'm a kind person from the minute you mentioned that you want help from ever since i'm gonna listen so if you want to fool me just let me know that you want help i'm going to listen but as soon as soon as i find out that the message is not what it is i'm gone so yeah don't pretend that you want help to come at me now you know but anyway so <laughs> then he cry wolf and then when he comes i can't manage but anyway yeah so when he spoke to me he said i'm in prison oh i said oh it's one of these prison prison lonely talk i don't have time for this i'm i'm i'm, I'm tired i'm just coming from work and he said no 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 i really need your help somebody just lend me their phone please help me and i was saying okay go ahead it's the first i ever have a prisoner call me i don't know if you know yahoo mail when you used to like yahoo chat you meet people in yahoo chat when i was a teenager i used to have this prisoner guy that i write overseas he was a pen pal and we used to write back and forth i used to love the letters that he would send me i wish people would start sending people letters guys if you ever want to talk to me send me letters i love reading letters i rather reading letters than answering the the, the phone by going on whatsapp instagram i rather letters <laughs> yes i do it's so it is so nice and refreshing when you read those words of someone and that guy used to write me so many letters when he was in prison i didn't know that he was in prison so he wrote me about four or five um, letters until i start liking to read them he was my good friend i could tell him everything that i'm going through because he was so far away and i know that he's not going to see me to tell somebody oh i'm crying i'm sad so i just write him and tell him everything yes i just open up to him i tell him all my feelings because i know i will never see him and he's so far away in this far far country <laughs> yes so anyway to cut story short when this guy was talking to me and said he was in prison and he needed help and so forth he just remembered me 
um, to that little part to get that part <laughs> right. So, and he said that I'm in prison and I need some help. And I said, how can I help him? He said, I've been here for years and nobody knows the police. They just put me in here, Jamaica here, of course. And he said that I have an aunt up and I realized that your aunt is almost a couple distance from that location. Could you go and look for her for me? Guys, did you know that I call a police friend of mine and say, what should I do? He said, yes, there are cases like that where prisoners are in prison and need help and no, there's nobody to help them. So um, I can accompany you because it was nearby my workplace. She said, go and look at my so-and-so was still there and I went and they told me that the person wasn't there anymore but somebody gave me um next relative number and I called her and she was like in some other area and uh, I get her number to her next friend and she said yes we were looking for him but we thought that he died in, a, in the shootout that was happening they all thought he died and he was in prison for years nobody business with him because he, all he needed was access to a phone and it so happened that somebody was brave enough to squeegee a phone in and he gets a phone to make a phone call and he end up calling me his name was marcus marcus if you are out there one day watching this i hope you're okay now and actually he was just picked up by mistake it's not like he did anything so as soon as the cousin get the information on she was a rasta you know it was a gang it was really a vital year that year is still vital in jamaica too and he he sent to me and he said that they said that his court date was like a week after the message a week after you know mm -hmm. so when i went to to when i when she called me and said yes and she said that he need a shoes and a pair of clothes if i can help i did help i did give them the money to buy the shoes and he the court was downtown and they leave downtown the same day he was free the same day the court here the same day he was freed right and he went to half a tree to look for me but this guy's voice was so smooth in like, oh my god when i talked to him on the phone because i continued to talk to him once when i realized that it was real he was really innocent i was so you know nice and everything wanted to beat this guy but i don't know if i had a crush on him or something but he was just pleasant to have a conversation with so manners ever so polite so in tune to how life is precious and you can be mistaken at any point he teach me a lot of things and <laughs> what ex what 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 threw me up when i was at the date he said i'm in a red van me and my family and i said really it's you're in a red van so i carry somebody with me so i have the next person stand over to the floors and i stand over to the end when he described himself and i see i get scared immediately i was so young in mind that i don't realize that this man is just coming from prison you don't expect him to look polished yeah. so <laughs> so i do understand that you know you can be traumatized and even though i didn't really run from him or anything i did go over and meet him his hair was like i don't know like it's rough but it's three big things and beard all over <laughs> yeah so i was like scared and yeah but i i did talk to him on the phone after that until you know i didn't let him feel bad or anything like that until it weighed down you know kind of you know those friends that you like them but you're still a little bit scared but you let them weigh down that kind of thing so you have to be careful of going out there and to say that I was smart enough to let it weigh down and knowing that I don't want him to think that this is an intimate thing. Not that nothing is wrong with him or I'm, or I'm being discriminated, but I know I couldn't have a relationship with him. But I didn't want him to think that. So I still be nice, but keep it at this that nice. But now when you have a blind date, my son, and that person and them talking mushy on the phone, because you have some people you know, where connection just catch at the instant of a conversation you know communication level just click yeah. but when you meet in personality nah, no 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 you just know my fly you we you know my yeah. butterfly at all you know the orange right so so but you have to let that person know definitely that 
okay, don't take this thing too far, you know, because if you go and then let the person be intimidated, that can be creepy if the person start to take a set on you. So, mm -hmm. or feel intimidated, or feel unwanted, or feel rejected, and maybe want to take violence for it. So, I do not recommend this kind of date. And then you might have been talking to that person on the phone, not knowing that the person is watching your background, because maybe they don't know where you live. You might say, okay, I'm in a bus going to Port Moyne. Oh, I just reached Edgewater. And he have an idea of where you live. I know that is only two bus stops and the main for Edgewater. And later on, the it come and push you and say you're this me you know? that kind of thing the so yes, be okay. careful how you go out there and blend it nice topic Romando so you remember I was saying to you that there's something that you didn't know about me growing up I was a child like this that is very curious I'm so curious like I'm so curious that my, my parents couldn't deal with it yeah they couldn't mm -hmm. I want to grow up so fast that when I reach about nine, nine years old, I start looking work. I did get it. I did get work. Yes, and I get my pay, $60. There was a little man named David. Um, we used to say Mass David. Mass oh, David was a nice man. I just love that man. He used any, to tell me stories time, and so forth. So what I would do... <laughs> so what I would do, every time he's passing, he looks so dirty, but he, he, he has these nice stories. So I said, you know, I can help you clean those clothes and so forth, and you pay me. And he said, really? I'm looking at a job. And I, I, I want to, to, to take care of my family. He said, but your mom and dad is a hard working person. I said, no, I want to take care of them. She beats. So I want to take all the kids for myself. I didn't, my mother, look here, you're not Jamaican. Let me tell you, Jamaican parents, hmm, they slap you. And when they slap you, stop it. Stop it. My mother, they're, they're the ones slapping you. Stop it. Sit down. Stop it. Nice. They're, they're hitting you, you know. Stop it, nice. Stop it, balling. I mean, and they're hitting you. So I didn't like that. And <laughs> my mom would be like, come here to me. Bring it, come. Pass that thing over there. I'm going to beat you with it. And bring it to her. And she actually wants you to bring the weapon that she's going to use to beat you. Like, really? So I was like a defensive child. So, <laughs> so what I did was like, I went to look jobs. Sometimes when my mom bring it up at me, no, or my father, they would say, boy, I just know the type of person he would have turned out to be. You know, it's no surprising. But, <laughs> yeah, so I, 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 I was curious. So if I go to the point like that, I just meet the gentleman and say, I need to work. And I start working and I get my pay. But to say this, uh, when I look in his house, I saw these people and he was mixed i think he was mixed with some kind of different race or something i don't know at that age so i don't really know but i know he looks different from my parents and my family so i see all these beautiful people not that we are not beautiful but you know you don't see different races of people on the world and so forth yeah. but he has a box of lecturers but they are open so one day i said oh I want to know all these people if they're writing in and I oh I sit down he was like coffee he had a coffee walk so I sit down and a I coffee walk? walk we call it a coffee walk it was a farm a coffee farm there oh. but we call it a coffee walk when it's not a farm it's a walk Mm. When it's at the house and it's not a farm where you have people working and reaping just a little garden, we just call it coffee walk. Anyway, <laughs> Ramanda don't know this thing. So anyway, I what I did, I went to know and read his letters and he came in and saw me reading the letters. Mm. But he didn't come in. He he tell me later on that he peeped through the door watching me read them out loud. Because he said he didn't want to read them and he wasn't so good at reading. So when I was reading them, he actually went and sit in the next room and listen. So every day he only wanted me to clean that room because he knows that I'm curious and I'm going to read all his letters and he will know what's in them. But he was so afraid in the community to tell people that he can't read them. So, so, so when I start reading them, he actually liked it. And then I, most of these people who were 
writing him were old people. So I gravitate to liking old people talk and telling stories and reminding him of the past and telling him where they are at and so forth. So I like it. So I, I first as I get a phone, even as a teenager, um, my aunt, I went and lived with my aunt and they have phone in the house. You know what I used to do? I used to look in the directory for people's number and if they're young, I hang up. If they're old, I will start a conversation. I will look in the newspapers for address and write old people. <laughs> yes, just so you know. Uh, yes, just for them to write me back. We know, right, so. <laughs> we ain't in country, you know. Alright, for, for I don't know, but most people, most people love the country. So right? you never wonder how I love old people so much? No, me no. no yeah, me I no. just love no. old people. I right love here, them. So, right, it's here, like, so, right here, somebody that say two things. Fast your fast <laughs> and you must say you boy. No man. No so, sir. I, I can't remember I ever stayed home a month straight when I was growing up. No, I would run away to old people's house. And you run away to your grandma's grandma house, but there was a next lady like maybe a chain away from me at the house named Aunt Mad. I used to run away and go and stay with Aunt Mad. I know no know this lady and I was just at the fence and see her talking to her parrot and I just went over and said, Can I be your friend? And she said, Sure, where are you from? And I said, Okay. So, and and when my mom would be walking up and down the street looking for me, I'm over by this old lady house. <laughs> When I came to Kingston, the same thing. I would just look for old people and go stay with them. Once they accept me, I'll, I'll just be there for old people. More acceptance in country than Kingston, right? No, town people are the same. It's mm -hmm. just that the male, the male in Kingston, male old people in Kingston, they're very aggressive and they don't have any manners. Yes, the male one. They, they don't have any manners and they're very aggressive. And you approach them, they're ready to attack you until they see that you're nice. Yes. And most of the older ladies in Kingston too, they, they don't like pity. And like if you see one and they're going into the bus, don't try to help them. Look here, what make can help yourself. And you will like stand there. But I'm not mad at them, I just smile, you know. Depending on you. Right. <laughs> I just think they're once a man, twice a child, and when they go back to child stage, it's like you're the darnest little thing. It's like a two-year-old toddler, you know? Yeah. They're, old people are like toddlers to me. It's like, oh my, like, I love that's, them so much. That's me always saying on the Saturday day when you're holding a bitch of you again. <laughs>
want to spice up the show later on where he can maybe prank me or throw some quiz at me and unexpectedly and guys you get our natural reaction uh that brings me to the next section i have a few riddles to give my mom Ready? <laughs> Riddle time! Guys, help me out with this. Let me know what your answer would be because he had riddles. But what Romanda doesn't know that growing up, we didn't have TV, game, videos. I mean, when I was about 13, I was exposed to all uh, gadgets. But, and because it's not that I'm that old, but I'm saying like from toddler to about 10 years old or say 11 years old we didn't have nothing like gadgets tv or anything when we when i i remember getting tv i think i was about five or so it was black and white um we used to watch mac clock on it um uh -huh. mac clock there was a show named mac clock you should watch I i'm gonna let you watch an episode of mac clock mac lock or mac clock Matlock, Matlock, right? And this like a white old man and he solved murder and, and, and cases. If you watch that old man, I used to so in love with that old man. I was looking for old people with personality like him. Yes. Old <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. I mean, yes. I'm not no, crazy. There, there's nothing wrong about being around I, older people. I'm obsessed I mean, with old people. Yeah, but you're you're obsessed. There's nothing <laughs> yes, wrong with I here, still am. Because um, I like when they teach me certain things back then that used to happen and so forth. Yes, know? but yeah. you you trust me, if you know the love of old people, I used to run away and stay under my great grandmother's bed so nobody can't find me, boy. Yeah. So my grandmother would come and just cook the food and push it underneath the bed and give me because she knew I'm underneath there. So if my mom, normally my mom don't come for me, but my father would come back for me. Sure? So if my father come back for me as I go home and eat and everybody's sitting and doing their thing, I just pack an next bag and run away back to my grandma. And this is like, maybe if you're driving a 10 minutes drive or five minutes drive, if you're driving and you're a good driver, five minutes drive away. And so you know I'm walking. Yeah? A little girl walking. And there is not many street lights. There were no street lights. Yes. Yeah, there were no street lights. So no yeah, matter what hours of the day, I'm going back to my grandma. Yeah? And my, what my grandma do over a period of time, she realized that I'm there, so, so she will leave the back door open so I can come in because she doesn't want me to sleep outside. Because she gets used you know to the saying, fact that peeps, I'm running away. Peeps, you know some of my feelings about when she was so small, she used to be a foodie. So <laughs> like, you know, she said, she get home with her mom and dad, right? And after dinner, <laughs> she run away. No, because and go her grandmother. Because they come, because they come for me in the afternoon when they come from work. Mm. So they're saying where I am. So they come for me. So you know that everybody's up and moving and they're watching me. So you know when they eat, they normally go inside to watch TV or they watch news. They used to watch a show named Lime Tree Lane. And I used to squeeze away during that time because nobody paid you attention. Everybody just in tune to Lime Tree Lane. So I'm back to my grandma. And guess what? Grandma don't have TV. Grandma don't have electricity. We use yeah. like, we call them battle torch or lantern, curse my lamp. No and lantern, trust me, what, I am battle torch. Yeah. So you put the oil in the bottle and you make some newspaper and push it down in the air. Bottle torch. Um, you right, better right. pretty it up because part of a bottle torch we say. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you get even some I used to help my grandma make the lamp so we will get elastic light. So you know the can that you... I'm, I'm gonna... You know what? Leave that for our next segment. I'm gonna show Amanda some old time days things what we used to use as Jamaican people. Yeah? Because he doesn't know. This boy don't like country era anyway. But anyway, yeah, it's the be most beautiful yeah, thing. Boring. Anyway, so Romando, you're going to throw some riddle at me. Maybe it's nowadays riddle, I don't know. But did you know that riddle me this and riddle me that? Tell me this or perhaps not. What? That was our game for fun when we were growing up. Our old time story. Brother Tukumba and Nancy's story. Oh my god, I, I know stories like like all the way up here because as I said, yes. I love old people so they're last, always feeding me with stories. Last time I remember, I, I heard something about that Anansi's uh, 
um, was from what? Well, don't know. worry, one day I'll tell you. I used to friend tell you stories growing up. Yeah, so. a, a friend uh, really yeah, but maybe you don't remember them true. now because game take it out of your head. Mm -hmm. But let me hear your riddles. Guys, if you, oh, you know riddles, you know I'm going to mess this up, right? You know I'm going to do that. Come, let me hear your riddles. No, man, you got to mess it up, man. <laughs> Alright. First riddle. People buy me to eat, but never eat me. What am I? People buy me to eat, but never eat me. Never eat me. Because they buy me to eat, but never eat me. But why would I buy you to eat and don't eat you? That makes sense. Food? Nope. Grocery. Can you buy the grocery to eat? Food but you food. can't eat the right grocery. Yeah, that makes How sense. How much chance do I have? Alright, you want a number of chance. Alright then. Um, can I give you a three? Three chance, so that's one dog. No, I'm gonna do that money. It's a food and grocery. I'll do a one red button. Okay. Fork. Because I, I have the, a bag of fork to eat, but I'm not eating the fork. Fork or spoon or plate or whatever. Alright. Alright, just can't say anything for the second attempt because food and grocery don't come into one. Mm. Right? Fork and plate and such would have come under utensils. So yes. 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 So, yes. yes. The answer the answer is actually a plate. A right? plate you buy me to eat. Yeah, because mainly all of put food on plate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Alright. Well, well. So, <laughs> Alright. What can be seen once in a month? Sorry, sorry. What can be seen once in a minute, twice in a moment, and never in a thousand years? What can be seen twice in a minute and never in a thousand years? What can be seen once in a minute? Once in a minute. Twice in a moment. Twice in a moment. And never in a thousand years. The second one you watch? No. The, <laughs> the second one, the second. No. no. Twice in a moment. But I always see the second one. I mean. Twice in a moment and never in a thousand years. Oh! Woo -woo 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 -woo. One, one gone already. So too much. Hold time. on. Once in a minute. Mm hmm. Twice in a moment. Who can see steam up on one fire here? Once in a minute, mm -hmm. twice in a moment, mm -hmm. and never in a thousand years. Mm -hmm. It must be the letters in the words. Um, so I'm, I'm spelling here, let me, because it can't be something yeah it can't be a physical thing guys it must be the word to you, you so once answer. in a minute mm -hmm. so minute spell with m one time moment spell two time and a thousand here don't have m m m oh my gosh you're doing too smart <laughs>
And the fact that it's poor teeth. Oh, is that a teeth thing? What are the word fingers? What? I'm, I feel really fingers you want me to use. It's fingers. It fi I'm not alive, but I have five fingers. Mm -hmm. What am I? And it's fingers. And the fingers are the fingers on my I'm hand. I'm not alive, but I have five fingers. What am I? I'm not alive, but I have five fingers. What am I? Because you're dead, so your hand don't need to show up. Because you're dead. So, can we know if we'd be dead or human or anything? How could be? So, uh, oh, two it more has chances, to be. Two more chances it has to be a fruit. Has to be a fruit. <laughs> a banana is alive, so I'm a banana. Did 
him try it. No, I mean before I get two right and one wrong. Yeah. I can't get two wrong. That's not that's not acceptable. We mean not acceptable. Everything you ever know. Are... You must can't give a hint. There is must something in life that you get a hint. But it's okay. I don't want any help. I'll think of something. <laughs> um, feed me or give me a drink or I'm going to die. You want a hint? You want me hint? No, no. I think I know. What? Electricity? No. You feed the wire through the hole? No. You put water from it? No. I give up. You give up? Yeah. You say you give up. Feed me and it will give me life. It will give me a drink and I will die. What am I? No. Anything that you actually feed and you, gi you actually give me life. And then you have it, just eat a drink of water. What 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 that would be? Fire. The more you give fire something to burn. Uh -huh. It becomes more. I, I would never get that because that would make a drink sense. of water. Any Did you know any that there are waters that, that the fire spread more? When you went, like, Depends. say the house catching a, a fire and you give it. If it's an electrical fire, then yeah. If it's um Albi's fire, then yeah. Alright, I know not in the chemistry and the whatever and all those things with you. Just go and move on. You have any more? Or so that was it? No, I have more. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Who makes move while being seated? Who makes move while being seated? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where get every guy from? Um who makes move while so sit down? Job. While being seated, yeah. Job. Job? Job? The job stay one place, but it may move. No. Piano. No. One more. Who make moves while sitting down? Human. Human. Yeah, we can sit down and make moves sit here. Me sit down and then move my hand. Yeah, it's a who. Who make move? So you that overall be like to somebody already, but who? So you have one more. Who? What type of person it is? What? DJ? No. Musician, doctor? No, you try them gone already, you know? <laughs> Only person that actually makes moves like different moves and so forth is a chess player while well, being seated. They always make a certain different types of move. Man, though, that's not fair because me can move, we can sit down and we move the lamp here. So, a person, me, look here, I got that of right. Course, then, it, listen, who makes move while sitting down? What's See, the me first I'm, this, all right, what am I doing who? right now? I'm asking you, what am I doing? You're moving. Oh, me, what me do? Well, me sit down. Is, no, but you need to look into the, 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 the something there. There is no context. There is no... Who makes move while Romando. I fear make move no. while sitting no. down. Because no. I'm mo A chess player would tap this. Bam. Mm -hmm. I don't like that the, the, the flower is at the edge right here. Bam. Person. You got, you got it in half. What well, comment this below, is, guys? Half. Alright, this is this is the bit. Uh, Listen, I should get decide, that one, decide, guys. I decide, should decide, get that one. Go decide. ahead, next Remember one. Remember, it's a who, alright? You decide. I make moves while sitting down. Right it's now, ask, I'm making moves on the keyboard. It's for a specific person. Mm, I make moves, so you can say fear. Yeah, I make moves. Alright. Yeah, I make moves. Okay. This is the last one. Mm -hmm. 
what flies when it's born, lies when it's alive, run <laughs> when it's dead. Again, what flies when it's born, lies when it's alive, runs when it's dead. It fly when it's alive. Yeah. How many baby rods? What flies when it's born? Oh, when it born, it fly. Mm -hmm. Sperms? Like what? No. Yeah, because it could be sperms. It fly to the no. egg. Hold on, no. And when it dead, it run because it just run. That's one part of your, your body that, that one thing or food from your body that's always alive and always active. What your sperms? Yeah. Stop that nonsense. Until it's radiation. Dead. No. Dead. Yes, until in radiation. half an hour it's dead. Until radiation hits you. In half an hour it's sperms but dead. Anyways, that's not that's not <laughs> that's not it. I'm like what? That's not that's not that's not exactly. Okay. The question said when it's born it fly when it's alive it's lie down no listen from it born it alive so that's why i said i do not like stupid questions question that make you look stupid because if it born that means it's alive it ain't born dead and then alive when it lie down it said what i give up i do not want to answer that blood Sorry. What? Blood? Water? No. Uh, breeze? Eh? No. Breeze? Caterpillar? No. Uh, butterfly? No. What the hell that could be? Alright. Who then not? Who, if, if I got this actual riddle, I wouldn't get it either because. We it's a stupid we, riddle. We don't experience it in Jamaica. So. Oh, snow! Exactly. Sino! Exactly. Yeah, I was thinking of Sino, you know. Mm -hmm. I was I was thinking of Sino. I was also thinking of um tornado. But I'm saying that tornado, yeah, because you know when the tornado come you go uh, and then it just drop on the ground and then after that you just see the place wet up and dampy. Like you know, like we could rain and fall or so then we say no, I never see a tornado from beginning to end, I never experience it. So we say oh I know that it's but I was thinking that yeah, it's a, like a pool like and then it hits the ground and then all oh, substance from the ground. Gone, gone, go away. So I, I'm not thinking like yeah, the whole aspect of it. So I said, no, that is stupid. It couldn't be. Then I think about the rain, cause I'm saying rain and breeze. So I say when the rain are come, it are like go so. And then we say, no, see no, but see no, go down and lie down. And then when it's dead, you know, me no more see no, it turn water. But I did think of that, but I'm saying that um, see no don't have wings, so it can't fly. So that was one of the reasons why I didn't say see no, but see no was the first thing that come to my mind, snow. guys, honestly. Snow but I was, because he said fly, I was saying that see no, don't fly. It was the first thing that comes to my well, mind. It's a flaky type movement. So That's it's, a, it's actually a good riddle yeah. now to think of it. Yeah. Just like the question that they asked in English, it's really a good thing. It, it helped you to, to communicate, you know, to help you with your communication level. If you did that part in your exam in English and you, you know you get it right, don't be stupid as me, you understand? That's why I mix up my English and my patwa. So, so you don't want to do the English exam like how I do it. Do it right. My name is Dede. That's a part of our I was not there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, um, our product review segment, guys. Um, What product am I going to do today is this makeup spray. It's a setting spray. Um, It's by Magic Collection. Guys, I've been using this for the past two weeks. And actually, I don't know if it is me. I don't normally sweat. Like when I put on my makeup, I don't normally sweat. But this, it, 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 I sweat, 
but then the makeup is not moving so i don't know what to say about it but um magic collection it's a matte finish i can't really give you a hundred and tell you go buy it because what i do know though it let my makeup don't move so i'll be sweating but the makeup is in top do you understand that so yeah, it's like it, you see the water above the makeup so i can actually pat off the water and the makeup still stay on my face so i i like it you know one one reason why i like it it means that my pores are not clogged up while i have on the makeup so i like it so i rather my sweat comes out but my makeup doesn't smudge so it's just for me not to wipe but to pat and my makeup will stay in line so i do like it and it's the magic collection i don't know if you would like something like this and remember it's not an ad it's just basically product that i use i will do a review on it so i like i like this one so i'll continue to use it if you have a product out there and you would like us to talk about it on our show and give you a review or shout out on it we will definitely do that for you if you want to sponsor our show we will appreciate even just a dollar Yes, we will appreciate it. Or uh, if you want to just come on the segment and be funny, ask us any quiz, just join us for guests. You can email us at alikefamilystore at gmail.com. And also remember that we have an online store and it's alikefamilystore.com. Or you can check out our blog, it's alikefamilystore.club. You will see episode of our shows there. I put some bloopers and the Alicare that club um, starting us from next week as from the day posted at this video. So you can go to Alicare that club for bloopers. And we do giving a giveaway and the, at the end of the month on this channel it's a hundred dollar US and it's for people who play our playlist and take a picture of all the because you know you have a button here that you navigate so take a, a picture of all of the play the videos that you play and send back the picture to either my instagram or my whatsapp all the, the information is in the description and just send it to my um prp and my instagram page and we will definitely um consider you so all you have to do is subscribe comment below take a picture of all the videos that you watch and send them to my ig which is trp or you can find us at alicare online store and instagram also or you can whatsapp it to us email it to us and you have a chance to win a hundred dollar us now it's not a coupon it'll be a hundred dollar us so we will either send the money to you by your paypal wire transfer but we rather the paypal and um, instead of the wire transfer because the wire transfer charge so i wanted to send you to you by paypal so make sure you have your paypal if you're in jamaica and you're um entering the ch challenge um we will definitely can send it to your bank account or you can just come and pick it up because we are in jamaica right so guys remember to check us out share our videos tell us what you think of our show remember a lot more exciting things to come this is just the beginning guys and as you said roman as roman the says this is growing on him and we are really enjoying it really we are um so yes so let us know that let us know if you enjoy our riddle section or you enjoy this yeah, if segment we should do it next time if we or... should do it our next time or should we like I, I want to really do some giveaways so like when a person win like when we do a challenge and the show and somebody win i want to have a giveaway at the end i don't want the challenge to be between me and ramanda just only we want to do it with people we're also thinking about a lot of stuff for this um show which we will not say yet and we want to surprise you as we go along so to, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, comment, and share. And Don't, press the bell. And press the and bell. We're, we're open for suggestions and certain things. So yes, we are definitely so open for below. a suggestion. Just comment below.